I really want to be an advocate here for all women of all ages, women, girls, men, whatever, that the most important thing you could ever do is to repair your skin, to take care of your skin. The only time I see this piss yellow in my hair is when I sit in front of this stupid fucking light in my bedroom. My name is Ellie Urquette. I'm a psychic medium, a life coach, and founder of Ellie Urquette Cosmetics. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to just kind of show you guys what I've been doing with my hair, like my hair routine, what color I've been using it to get it this freaking blonde, like I'm blonde AF, and talk about my skincare, show you guys my skin in front of this nasty light, ring light, but I did I did also film myself in my bathroom, uh, which is like normal lighting. Anyways, I just got out of the shower and I want to show you guys <clears throat> what products I'm using, what products I'm using for my hair, if I want to keep this hair color, um, and try not to bleach my hair anymore. Basically, I'm using Color Charm from Sally's, which is a 9N. It's a very light blonde, and the N is from neutral, so there's no like um, warmth in it, there's no ash in it, it's just like neutral. And I'm using 20 developer, and I'm mixing it, I'm putting it on my roots, and it's lifting it really, really well. Um, and I told you guys before, this is literally saving my hair because my hair is so damaged. So the shampoo number four by Olaplex is literally amazing. And then I followed up with the Olaplex number five, which is the Bond Maintenance Conditioner. Repairs, strengthens, and nourishes all types. Literally, I should have been using this this whole year. I just didn't want to spend the money. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to get drugstores. But guys are just as good. But honestly, it's totally worth it. It's a huge bottle. I paid like $30 for each. So it's like 60 bucks for both. But this is going to last me a long time because the shampoo is super, super like um, thick. So if you just put a little bit in your hand and, 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 and lather it, lather it up you're gonna get a lot of use out of it but just like having a little bit and it's sulfate free and it's sulfate free and gives you shine and nourishes your hair repairs your hair it puts the bonding building back into your hair it helps your hair like bond or something whatever i don't know what the fuck it does <laughs> whatever it does it works and the conditioner and also i'm a sucker for smell so smells really good it smells like a really clean like almost like like i don't know how to describe the smell it smells like grapefruit literally it smells like citrusy like grapefruit and then i also have number three which i have been super busy super busy i've been super lazy and not really using it but this is the one that you basically wash your hair and you put number three uh the repair one and you put this on for like 20 30 minutes and then you shampoo and condition your hair after and i've just been lazy and i haven't been doing it but this really works too but honestly i feel like the shampoo and the conditioner is literally amazing now let's talk about my goddamn skin because as you guys can see as you guys can see, my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower. I just colored my hair. Fresh blonde, bitch. Freshly blonde, okay? As you guys can see, I'm blonde as fuck. 
and so I just got in the shower and this is my goddamn skin. Everyone's like, oh my god, Ellie, I'm looking at your photos. Um, you know, you always look have that glow and that you're beautiful. Yes, I know I have the glow and I'm always beautiful. I know this. But uh <laughs> but honestly, I have let me show you guys the serum that I have here. So I go through so the night serum, the one that I opened, this is my second one. This is my second serum, you guys. I have literally just this much left. I am using the shit out of this. Like, I'm actually using this in the morning as well as night because I was just trying to figure out which one I like better. But honestly, they both do like different things. It's really interesting to see what they each do for my skin. So I opened up my fourth bottle of the day serum and I have to open a new one for my night serum because I am out and it's not much left. I'm going to see my mom maybe tonight or, or first thing in the morning and she's asking me to bring her another bottle as well. My mom um, years ago was cooking and a bunch of oil, like hot oil from the pan jumped on her face and she has these kind of scarring on her face a little bit like on her nose and stuff. And she said that using the day serum, this one, the day serum, and now that she's been using the, the night serum for the past two weeks is totally erasing um, erasing the, uh, the the spot, which is really interesting because it literally is like a, the, the serum is almost like an eraser. Like it just gets rid of like anything that's not naturally supposed to be on your skin. Like it's not gonna erase your freckles, you know what I mean? But like if you have like acne scars or if you have like discoloration in your skin, if you have like pigmentation, I know when I used, to, I was telling one of my clients today, I used to literally bake myself in the sun and I would put baby oil all over my body and my face and I would just lay out like for hours. And I, everybody thought like I was like half black or something because I always like looked so dark and then my hair would bleach out and my teeth were all white. I looked really crazy. Um, people who always thought like I was mixed and they couldn't figure out what my ethnicity was and it was really funny. Everyone was always like, oh my god, you're so like exotic. And then I used to wear these like super bright like blue contact lenses. So I just like looked really crazy. And um, I noticed like I really love being tan. It looked really good on me. It looked, I always had that kind of that tan, that glow. It looked really good on me and made me look really pretty and I loved it. But I did notice on my skin as I got older that it created this kind of discoloration and um, my skin started looking really blotchy and patchy, which I never noticed before until I started pursuing acting and I had to get a lot of like headshots and pictures and things like that and be on camera and you know do like um, auditions and things like that. I started noticing that my skin looked really dirty, really blotchy, and it was like discoloration and pigmentation, like different pigmentation. And I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? So I found this dermatologist and she told me that you know there's really nothing i can do and it's going to be really expensive i would have to do all sorts of like really expensive facials and like these treatments and things like that so she did put me on um uh, some medication for my skin at the time and she was very expensive she was like 200 dollars, and she didn't accept insurance and a friend of mine took me to her and she her office was in beverly hills and anyways she was really fucking expensive i was like i can't afford this bitch like I can't afford this um so but what she did tell me because she lived in malibu and she had this like porcelain skin long beautiful hair and porcelain skin and she was a lot older and she looked really youthful and young and and i know she lived in malibu because she always talked about it like oh i was stuck in traffic because i live in malibu and i was stuck on pch to get to the office in beverly hills so she told me if you want to reverse the blotchiness in your skin you need to start wearing spf and staying out of the sun, stop smoking, stop drinking, and, and I know it's really difficult, you know, to do those all, to do all those things, to, to be very disciplined with your skin. But honestly, I started kind of getting into this like goth phase, and I stopped laying out and toasting my skin under the sun with baby oil over all over it. And so the SPF was number one that I started noticing a huge result like with my skin. All the pigmentation, discoloration went away. And then I have always used my mom's um, skincare system. Her skincare system is literally everything that I put into these two bottles. Basically, 
um, growing up, watch my grandma and my cousins and my mom and my aunts and everyone in the family. We have a huge family and they're all very, very, very into like beauty and style and skincare and makeup. Like my mom, my mom's hair and nails were always done and raising three kids and working and she was always put together. So everything that, she, they, that the ingredients in the products that she's been using all these years where she looks stunning at her age. Um, I spoke with these laboratories. I finally found a laboratory that was willing to work with me because uh, you can't really put your name and your logo on products if they're like under 10,000 units, like under 10,000 order. And I was like, I'm a small business and I can't really afford to like um, order like 10,000 serums. I don't have the space for it. I don't have it. I don't have Amazon affiliate, you know, where they're going to put it in their you know, fulfillment center. So they worked with me and they gave me like 300, 600 serums. So I have um, these serums and they are literally selling out so crazy. Like my day serum is selling out like so quickly. I have like maybe a box left. And then now I have the night serum. So I'm hoping that I can sell both of them together to people that want to have this skincare system and this kind of experience because once I run out of the day one I'm not going to really have it anymore and all I'm going to have is the night serum and then for fact for the factory for this manufacturing company to reproduce this for me all over again it's going to take a long time and the shipping and all that so take advantage of this right now if you have not tried the skincare system look I'm sitting here in front of you with my hair wet I just got out of the shower I have not an ounce of makeup on my face uh, I'm wearing a hoodie 60 degrees in LA it's very very cold so I'm your testimonial um, I'm your testimony I'm sitting right in front of you with no makeup on I've been using these serums now for weeks the this one the gold one I've been using it for the past two weeks um, this I've been using it for over a month now and I'm honestly here to tell you that it's absolutely amazing so give it a chance just get one Try to put it on a.m. and p.m. and stay out of the sun, wear SPF, drink water, and let me know how it goes. Also, um, make sure that you guys go and read the reviews on the website. If you don't know who I am and you, you don't trust me or you're like, I don't know who this YouTuber girl is trying to sell us serums and shit like that, just go to the website and read the testimonies, okay? So when, I mean, I'm sorry, the reviews. So when you go to the website, eliarkit.com, you see Elior Kids Coaching, because I do a lot of attraction coaching and life coaching, and then there's Elior Kids Boutique. Under the boutique, there's reviews. Um, like I said, take a look at my skin. I literally have nothing on my skin and my hair is wet i just got out of the shower and i was like i just wanted to kind of film myself so you guys can see how flawless my fucking skin is it's like i'm sitting in my bathroom as you guys can see and i don't have any artificial lighting on me i just have this nasty yellow light in my bathroom i just wanted to see you guys to see my skin truly for for how it looks like not under makeup freshly out of the shower so you guys can kind of get a vibe for it okay i'm not trying to push my products but i really want to be an advocate here for all women of all ages women girls men whatever that the most important thing you could ever do is to repair your skin to take care of your skin and then makeup should just be like an enhancing like you're enhancing your beauty, but you're not covering it up. So I hope you guys take a chance and buy the serum so you guys can look like my skin. That's why I've called it Ellie Skin. But you know, I wanted to, having said all of that, I want to talk about something kind of controversial a little bit. I watched Conjuring 3 and you guys know I'm a paranormal expert, paranormal investigator, I'm a psychic medium. And I don't know you guys, I, I get, super super bad vibes from Lorraine and Ed Warren. I get bad vibes from them. I feel like they were charlatans and I think they took advantage of people and uh, some of these people had mental health disorder and they just took it and they ran with it. Uh, like these people were like hallucinating or seeing things or hearing voices and back in the day you know they weren't really um, really seeing like psychiatrists and, and, and physicians e everything was demonic everything was demonic and everybody was possessed and every single person was possessed and demons were everywhere and <laughs> it's just it doesn't really work it doesn't really work like that demons just don't come and like possess you or possess children and weird shit like that so 
watching that movie i don't want to give it away or anything like that but it's just it was a bit much it was a bit much and i just always felt like there was something off about this couple i feel like they took advantage of people and they they wanted to become famous they want to become famous and they want to become well known under the context of de de demonologists and psychic mediums or whatever fuck. And um, there's a lot of people on YouTube that use this, uh, they use this, uh, what do you call it? First of all, I have no makeup on. I look like a rat. I just got in the shower and I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about The Conjuring because it's really fucking bothering me because I watched the third one and I'm really bothered by it. So I'm like, I don't have any makeup on. I just got in the shower and I just want to talk about it. It's bothering me. So I have to address it. So um, it, it, it seems like there's a lot of people on YouTube that are using paranormal, the paranormal, ghosts, spirits, entities, demons, investigation and all of that as a form of getting famous or getting a TV show or getting on a TV show. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with people, but honestly, I am really scared for people like that, that have no idea what they're talking about and what they're getting themselves into. If you actually go to a house that has any type of demonic uh, uh, attachment to it, to a object, to the house, uh, to the person. First of all, it's not like what you see in the movies where they just, you know, start crawling backwards and on the wall and things like that. It takes years and years and years for it to manifest. Um, and it is very difficult to try to determine whether the person has mental health disorder or if there's possession because the demons take their sweet ass time. So it comes across that there's like mental illness or mental disorder and you know a lot of times they're encouraged to suicide and and you know kind of um, uh, um, isolation and things like that. So having said all that, I just intuitively, this is my personal opinion, disclaimer, I don't know for sure, I don't know the Warrens, I don't know Ed and Lorraine Warren, I don't know them, okay? I've never met them, I don't know them, I don't know anything, anything about them. My psychic um, opinions, my psychic opinion as a, as a medium, as, a, as an empath, as a paranormal expert, investigator, I don't think they were legitimate. I have a, I, a very weird feeling about them that maybe they were, um, they found some things, that there's some disturbances, you know, throughout the years and they just capitalize on it and they very much wanted to be Hollywood. So they took it and they ran with it and they contacted relentlessly, like Lorraine was relentless in regards to contacting the daughter of, so if you see the first, so the first conjuring, the oldest daughter um, has done, she talked about how the actual experience was so much more scarier than the first conjuring like the studio wasn't allowing the director and the producers to really make it as scary as it really was that they had to tone it down for the audience so um, and she said that you know when they left the farmhouse and they moved and stuff Lorraine was like relentlessly coming after them knocking on their door constantly calling them try to get them to um, come and do the movie and that the mom didn't want to have anything to do with it she wanted to close the door on it because that house was very much like a portal to hell something crazy like that so it makes me feel like it wasn't authentic. It makes me feel like, not that the situation and the story wasn't authentic, it makes me feel like they were not authentic, that they wanted to take these people's experience, their personal, very, very personal experience of being tormented by spirits and demons and entities and, and, and just exploit it for, like, for a movie. Yes, it made them money and they became very famous for it, but at the end of the day, we all fucking die and we don't take anything with us. So just think about all that. If you think that you wanna get yourself famous on YouTube because you want to somehow capture a demon or show some sort of a paranormal activity that's going to make you rich and famous and you can get on TV and talk about it, first of all, it's not going to happen. The most you can show ever, maybe it's gonna be orbs and things like that. If you guys watch me, uh, you know, my alienators, my, uh, my, my fans, 
that's that was so weird to say that out loud my fans or my viewers um, you know they watch my live streams on a daily and I have tons of activity behind me right um, but I just uh, there's things have happened to me that I know that if I tried to record myself I wouldn't be able to show it or it wouldn't come out or I or that's how they work the entities make sure that they're going to be hidden because they do things in the shadows they don't want to be revealed they don't want anybody to find that about them so um, the other thing I was going to tell you guys was if you guys ever saw the movie uh, the, the right is it the right with Anthony Hopkins uh, so the that movie was um, also based on a true story uh, about this priest who didn't want to become a priest and I know that priest I was approached by these two producers that were trying to create a paranormal TV series around me and my abilities and everything and those producers had actually started filming with that priest where that movie is about okay the right the, and um, they went to this location and they were trying to do an exorcism on this kid not this kid it's like a young adult male and um, after they were done shooting and they got am amazing like footage and stuff like the kid or the, 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 the young guy was like he was in his early 20s was like levitating off the chair and stuff like that they went they went into a couple of days after they went into like editing and stuff like that the footage you couldn't see anything the, the the audio was messed up the visual was messed up they were not able to everything was messed up and they were banging their heads against the wall they were banging their heads against the wall because they couldn't believe like the audio and the and the video was completely distorted you couldn't hear anything and you couldn't see anything so it's very very difficult to catch them it's very very difficult to catch them record them and show them so I'm just telling you guys the truth okay I'm telling you guys the truth about how the astral plane works the fourth dimension where the entities and spirits and ghosts are all there and the higher dimensional states the fifth dimension and, and, and above uh, their frequency is so fast that we'll never be able to see them with our eyes we're never gonna be able to record them with our devices we don't have the technology to see it okay um, the best we can do is maybe record sound disturbances orbs and things like that so anyways I just want to talk to you guys about it now if, if you want to see a really cool paranormal movie, I suggest Doctor Sleep. It's a sequel to The Shining and it's amazing because it talks about people like, like me, that we have, we glow, we shine. So what, what happens, because we shine so bright, our light is so bright and we shine, that these dark entities see that and they're attracted to us. So light and dark is very attractive to me because I can see them I know they're there I can acknowledge it and I can uh, make them feel like they're not alone so they can converse with me so that's the difference I just want to talk about it I know this has nothing to do with my serum and my skincare and my hair routine but I was like I'm going to sh show you guys the hair and the skin stuff and then I'm going to talk about this and I don't give a fuck if it doesn't make sense in this video that's what vlogs are for so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys need my help, you can book a session with me and we can figure out what's bothering you psychologically, physically, emotionally, psychically, spiritually, okay? So just go to learquette.com slash services. If you wanna buy my beautiful makeup and incredibly magical, amazing serums, go to learquette.com slash slash go to lrkit.com slash shop not stash okay um this is the night serum which is actually spec like there's actual gold in it this is going to make your skin flawless this is the day serum is 100 collagen and these two will be one of the these two are going to be the the most amazing amazing skin care system you will ever have I bless my products. I'm a witch. If you guys don't know, I practice, honey. I bless all my products, my lipsticks, my makeup, my serums. I bless everything. So I hope that you guys can get this magical skin like I do. Like I said, I'm freshly out of the shower with my hair wet, just bleach the shit out. I mean, color the shit out of my roots. And I have to touch up my roots once a week. Otherwise, you're going to see roots. And I don't want that because I want to have that platinum platinum uh white blonde life 
So all I have on my lips are this. Some people are asking me, what do you wear as lipstick? I don't, I'm not wearing any lipstick. I'm just using this Aqua, Aqua for lip repair. And then I also have Nivea uh, and Chapstick. This is all I have on my lips. So if you guys want to get it, you can go to your local drugstore and get it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe, share, and like, and follow us on our Instagram, Elliot Cosmetics. And also subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my uploads. And also subscribe to my to my to my also subscribe to my website elliorkit.com. And that way, when I have promotional discounts and new products coming out, you'll get an email from me. So, having said all that, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys during my live stream or in my next video. Bye.